All right, 3.3 number 13. This is a more difficult question, but of course it's going to be more fun as well. Let me show you how to do it. We have t sine t over 1 plus t. So right away we know we have to use the quotient rule. So I will label the top as f and the bottom as g. And once again for quotient rule, I will write down g first, which is 1 plus t. And f, it's going to be t times sine t, like this. And as usual, I will differentiate g, and the derivative of g is going to be, this is going to be 0, the derivative of t is going to be 1. No big deal. But if you take a look of this, if in order for us to figure out f prime, f is t times sine t, we actually have to use the product rule in here. So this question requires both the product rule and the quotient rule. All right, so that's why it makes this question much harder than the other ones. But we can handle it. Let me, let's continue. For the first part, I'm going to just label this as my blue f times the blue g. And I'll write this down on the side. f is going to be t, and g is going to be sine t. And then as usual, we'll just go ahead and differentiate them individually. f prime, it's going to be 1. And derivative of sine t, it's going to be cosine t, just like that. So far, so good. And we're going to use this to construct our derivative for t sine t. So we'll do that. I will pair this up with that t times cosine t, right? t cosine t. This is the first function times the derivative of the second function. And for product rule, you add. You pair this one with that. So you multiply sine t times 1. So plus sine t times 1. You add the second function times the derivative of the first function, just like that. Now with this, these are my ingredients for the original function right, to get a derivative. So we will actually try to finish our question now. All right, y prime. We start off with a fraction, we are going to end up with a fraction, and we might well just square the denominator first before we forget. So 1 plus t squared. And then for the numerator, we just pair this up together, put parentheses, 1 plus t, I'm going to multiply that with this, t cosine t plus sine t times 1, right? So I'm just going to put this down right here, 1 plus t, parentheses, t cosine t plus, and sine t times 1 is just sine t, so I might well just write it as sine t, and that's it. And I will also have to pair up this with that, so f times g prime. And for quotient rule, you subtract. You subtract t sine t times 1, like that. And this is the calculus part. That rest without we just have to do simplifications and we'll do it no big deal we can handle it now let's take a look for the top part i will have to distribute right the one times this the one times that and then i also have to do the t times this t times that all right so let's do it one times t cosine t it's just t cosine t and 1 times sine t, it's of course just plus sine t. And we're done with the 1, move on to the t. Positive t times t cosine t. This t and that t can be multiplied, and we will get t squared. t squared cosine t for the result. So plus t squared cosine t. And then if you take t, positive t right here, times positive sine t, we are going to get plus t sine t, all right? And then here we have minus t sine t times 1, which is just the same as minus t sine t. And this is the numerator. We're going to put this all over 1 plus t squared. Usually, you just don't want to touch a denominator, all right? And let's see if there's anything that we can cancel out. And the only thing that we can cancel at the moment is just the positive t sine t and the negative t sine t, all right? 
And if you just look at this part, this is pretty much it for the answer. This is how they get the answer in the back of the book. Let me show you. So on the denominator, it's still going to be the same. 1 plus t parentheses square. But then I do see that I have the t square, cosine t, and then t, cosine t, they are the same. Let me put them together, and let me put the t squared cosine t first. So t squared cosine t first. And this is going to be plus t cosine t. And then I'll just put in the um, plus sine t left right here. Right? This is plus. And then for the first two parts, we have the cosine t here and the cosine t here is in common. So we can factor things out. And this is how they do in the back of the book. So they just kind of open the parentheses. They like to put the cosine t in the back. Right? So this cosine t like this. And the leftover for the first part is going to be t squared plus the second part is just the t. And that's pretty much it. Even though they could have factored on another t, but they didn't do it. So it doesn't really, you know, I mean, don't worry too much. Anyways, to finish this up, I will get t squared plus t times cosine t, and then you add sine t, all this on the numerator, all over 1 plus t squared, like this. And this will be your y prime. Right? That's it.